guys. I'm here with my boyfriend Robin because Hello. you ruined my flow. <laughs> Amy doesn't talk well at all. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here for just a quick little video with my boyfriend Robin because we just went to Waitrose and they had these really cute blind date with a book things. So we wanted to vlog opening them and I don't know, just seeing what they are. You're a book now. Oh my god. <laughs> so the idea here is that we're giving a very simple description of the books. So this one apparently has a comic collision, a princess, dynamite, love and lust, and it's quirky. That was the first one we noticed and we were really intrigued by it, but then we saw another one and we couldn't pick between them, so we just got one each, but we're kind of going to share them. So this one says, My Meteorite, and that was kind of the name of, like, on the little label where it was sold, it was called My Meteorite. It says, It's coming of age, bittersweet, about life and friendship. So I think I'm more swayed towards this one and you're more swayed towards the other one. Yes. So we're very excited to see what's in them. We were just talking about like, can we guess what the cover might look like or whatever, but this one's very small. Robin's one's really small. So I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be, I don't know, I can't really picture that one. I feel like that one's more aimed at adults and this one might be more of a, like a YA. But princess. I just think that one's gonna be like really wacky and I feel like this one's gonna be kind of, I don't know, it gives me like John Green sort of pretentious vibes, which I'm all about. Yes. The <laughs> this whole... is more of a normal book size as well. Yeah, the whole meteorite thing makes me think that it's going to be some kind of plot device that, oh, a mm. meteorite has fallen and it's going to bring yeah. everyone together, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think it might be like a... Actually, you saying that's made me think I know what it is. Amy has a book called... I don't know, it's about this asteroid that's going to hit Earth and it's about, like, will they live or not? Oh dear. It's a group of friends, so it could be that book. Which Bitter means... sweet. <laughs> well, I know the endings. <laughs> oh no. Um, so I, I hope it's not that one. I hope I don't have either of these. So the cover of this one, I reckon, is going to have space on it. Mm. I get a spacey vibe from this one. Perhaps it's a view yeah. from space. We've got the earth, because it's all life oh, no, and stuff. I, I think it's going to have like people on it. Oh, looking I up into space gonna, as yeah, it comes down. I think it's going to have people looking at a night sky, mm -hmm. or like silhouettes of people. Yeah, I think the sky kind of will be on it, but I think there'll be like people as a focus right. as well. So they're facing away from us and backlit by this meteorite coming yeah. towards them. I'm up for that. <laughs> but that now, sounds good to me. Now I'm really, I'm literally just think, I'm con half convinced. This is that book that Amy has. Oh, <laughs> it's no. called We All Look Up. That's what it's We called. All Look Up? Well, let's all look up and then. And it has a yellow <laughs> spine. It's got a group of people all stood here and it's got Okay, we'll so that's a very, very specific description of a cover <laughs> yeah. that might be behind. That one, that I don't know what the other book's going to look like. I feel like it's going to be pink. I think it's going to be like ironically pink. Like, I don't think it's going to be pink in a way it's aimed at girls. I think it's going to be like a... I don't know. It feels a bit Bridget Jonesy to me. Really? I think, no, yeah. The whole... Princess quirky and... Quirky, love and... Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking that's going to be like a book aimed at girls. I think that's... I've got in my head that's like a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy sort of weird book. Not with space, but like from the weird description, I think it's going to be like a really wacky book like that. I think it's a rom-com and I'm totally down for that. <laughs> well, we'll both, we can always do swapsies if we don't. Okay, okay, we'll open them now. So we're going to do this one first. Robin's convinced we can open them without scissors, so... Although that is a lot harder one-handed. Tell you what. I'm going to let Robin I try and open hands. it while I do the camera. Actually, it's a bit hard with two hands as well. Oh, we didn't show as well. This blind date with a book has a uh, don't judge a book by its cover mm. on the back, which I think is a very nice thing. Yeah, the wrapping is done. Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> what did you expect? I still can't do it. Ooh. Oh, I don't think it is that one. Oh my goodness. Oh no, this isn't the book that aims. Oh no, but I do have this book. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I do have this book! Maybe I get this one then. Yeah, I have no idea. I bought this book a really long time ago. <laughs> the Universe versus Alex Woods. I've heard it's good though. How close were we? We've got people in silhouette, backlit That's with true. in the sky. There it comes. Yeah, Amazing. Good. So now we have the second one. <laughs> I think it's a Bridget Jones rom com and it's going to be pink. Ooh. Oh! This is, I don't have this book, I'm pretty sure, from that little bit. I still Let's can't really tell the genre. Oh. oh, it's harder than it looks. Still ah. Life with Woodpecker. Still Life with Woodpecker. I've never heard of this. It's a number one bestseller, apparently. It's a weird cover. 
I don't is... think we could have guessed this at all. So, think... there's bits of oh, pink. Oh, there's dynamite. <laughs> oh, there is dynamite. Oh, yes. Well, how about that? That's not what okay. I thought it would mean yeah, no, by that. Yeah, no, this is not what I expected. Amazing. I don't think either of us could okay. have guessed. This is a bird that's going to hold a matchstick flying over Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we could get that from the words. No. It takes place inside a pack of cigarettes. What? <laughs> it reveals the purpose of the moon, explains the difference between criminals and outlaws, examines the conflict between social activism and romantic individualism. See, this is what I was thinking. I thought it was just really quirky, like... I just thought it was going to be really wacky. These are our two books. Um, yeah, I do unfortunately already have this one, which is a shame. But it has made me want to read it a lot more. Because I did, this is like, I bought this for like £3 from Tesco right. years ago. And I've never really ever thought of picking it up. So this has given mm. me a push to pick it up. Because it sounds just a bit mental. But then this one sounds even weirder. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This is so strange. I haven't... Re it also said love and lust on this one as well. Inside a pack of cigarettes. I just, I'm very, well, I'm surprised. And I'm quite glad this was in a Don't Judge a Book by its cover because I would never have picked this up. Well, exactly. That's the other thing. They mm. aren't famous books. What a great way to get yeah. kind of, you know, non-typical books off the shelves. Incredible. Yeah, I never would have picked this up because it just looks, it looks like it's like 50 years old. From the cover, I feel like this was pub like this is from the seventies or something. Yeah. It's just got that like really oldie look to it, and also what's on the cover wouldn't have made me want to pick it up. And this kind of number one bestseller thing, it just like I don't know, it just doesn't look like a modern cover. Oh, there's a little. There are bookmarks there's inside. A bookmark we just inside. discovered bookmarks. <laughs> Blind date with a book is a hashtag. This was published in 1980, so I was right, this is a go. weird, like, older cover. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit more modern, because yeah. just from the cover. And when I bought it, I think it was in the charts when I bought it a few years ago. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, no, first published in 2013, so yeah. So yeah, but I don't, I think this is a really nice cover, though. Like, I would, that's why I picked it up. This isn't a book where if I saw the cover, I'd be like, ugh. Like, but when I mm. bought it, I thought this was a piano. This old man on the bench. I thought it was a piano because oh. you, from a distance you've got this like white strip somewhere here which looks like keys so I thought it was a piano yes. and I think when I found out it wasn't a piano is when I was kind of like oh I don't really want to read it oh, now okay. this was like basically a cover by when I bought it and on the back it's night time oh, which is cool I hadn't thought of that yeah so it's a really I think this is a lovely cover so there we go a really lovely idea by I assume well, I don't think it's from Waitrose it's just no. from hashtag Blind date with a book. So if you look at that hashtag, there'll be other people probably posting about which books they chose. But yeah, it was just really cool to see it in a supermarket as well. Like I've heard of this sort of idea on like Tumblr and stuff, but I never have seen it in real life. So it's just really cool to actually like see it in a shop. So that's it for this quick little video featuring Robin. Uh, I'm actually in Leeds at the minute, which I mentioned in another video. So that's why random, random Robin appearance. Plus he's wanted to be in a video for a really long time. And I've never known what we should do. So when we had actually bought these and we're excited to pick them up, I was like, okay, we can we can do this together now and Robin can be in a vlog. Yes. <laughs> we are gonna go and make fajitas now. So we hope you enjoyed this little video and let us know if you read either of these books because even though I recognize Alex Woods, The Universe versus Alex Woods, I've never heard anyone review it or talk about it. And this one especially I haven't heard of. So if you have read either of these and like them, then let me know down below. Anyway, I'm hungry, let's go. Cool.